what's going on everyone greg back with some more near reincarnation and today we got a new event a new banner let's go ahead and take a few minutes to talk about what we have and let me tell you a few things about the event and we'll we'll spend some of the tickets so i can show you guys the pool rates on the actual event summons so this event is a little bit different from the previous events we had where we're just collecting medals and you buy what you want this one is more of a gotcha style so you need to farm the tickets and then you're going to spend them on the summons so kind of similar to the chapter summons where you gather those tickets from the uh, campaign and use those on the chapter summons you're going to use these or fight these missions and use these tickets on the event summit so before we get into that let's just go ahead and look at the notice real quick and talk about what what, what what's happened here and let's let's talk about how much content we've been getting in this game one thing everyone needs to realize is based on everything that's happening they are obviously trying to catch us up to what they currently have in japan which means they're like condensing like six months of content into a much shorter period don't know exactly when it's going to line up it sounds like september things should start aligning up we should start getting stuff maybe same time as japan so you know it's coming along but what that means right now is we have a whole lot of content and a little bit of time to work on it and so at the end of the day, I think it's getting to the point where you're just going to be limited to like really picking and choosing what you want to do and how you want to progress in the game. So let's just go ahead and talk about what we have in the notices first. The first notice we have is the paid only abstract captain summons on now. Then we have the abstract captain summons on now and then we have the event information. So let's talk about this paid banner. One thing very important that's going to kind of that dictates what I'm going to say to you is that the abstract captain is considered to be SS tier in both PvP and PvE in the Japan tier list. So he is a really good character. But that doesn't necessarily mean you need to go try to summon him right now. Now if you're a whale, by all means, this is probably your easiest way to get him and the cheapest way to get him because he's going to have this kind of like a guaranteed, like if you pull a 4 star, you're guaranteed to get him type of situation is what this summon is. So, this is a paid only. You have to actually buy gems to be able to do this. You have until September 5th on the summons and then September 7th on the exchange. So, this is an overall pretty short event or short banner. Um, in the banner, you have Griff, the abstract captain, and Griff, dissenting captain. So, this is the character that is pretty high tier, pretty good, especially if you like a gunner. He's got, you know, he's got his uh, Wars Chronicle weapon. And honestly, I would like him. He looks pretty cool. I would like him as a gunner. I want him because he's at the top of the tier list. But I'm not necessarily going to pull for him. Let me explain why. So, you know, let's just finish talking about what's on here. You'll earn these shards. So it's a different uh, pity. It's still 200 for the pity. They do have a 50 pity for the three star version. But I mean, really, come on. That's pretty much if you just maybe you, you're spending on just the paid banner and then you can get just that three star because you don't want to pull anymore. Because what happens is the paid banner you can pull up to five to, uh, ten summons. So it is limited to five ten summons. So essentially you buy the $80 pack that right now it's giving you 15,000 gems and you use them all on this paid thing. And if you get any four star pools they are guaranteed to be abstract captain. But you could do all those pools and not get one at all. So keep that in mind. So th this 10 times summon can only be used 5 times during this availability period and only with paid gems. In this summon, all 4 star weapons that appear are guaranteed to be the feature weapons. So actually you got you do have a solo weapon in here that doesn't come with a character. And then you also have the after captain. Uh, which comes where he comes with the weapon that spawns or that gets pulled. So there really are two different things you can pull that are four star. So keep that in mind. Plus, at least one three star above weapon is guaranteed. Pretty typical. So you uh, we got the event quest for the senior officer. So you can get some quests associated with the character. If you do pull him, get some gems from that. And I think that's about it on this. So this is the paid banner, which kind of goes hand in hand with the 
um, the unpaid banner, which is the normal banner, which is abstract captain. So again, it's one banner character on here. Again, same dates. So you got your uh, both griffs, the weapons, and uh, same pity. So if you pull like the five and you want to go pity to two hundred, you can just go ahead and pull the you know pull the rest on here. So that's about it for the summons. I mean, it's a banner with one character. The key thing you need to know: this is not a limited character. So there will be ways to obtain him in the future, which is the reason why I'm not going to summon on this banner. I believe there are other units that would be more useful to me right now. Although, I mean, I, he would be useful if I pulled him. It's just that there's no other characters coming with him. He's not a limited character. So it, do I really want to pull on that? And my decision is no, I do not want to do that. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to pull for him. Even though I'd love to have him and we'll have to wait and see what comes next. You know, I think we got Replicant coming up. I'll probably try to save for that. But overall, like if you want to get him, go for it. But you need diversity on your account. Remember that you need diversity for raids. You need nine different characters and they cannot be different costumes. They have to be actual different characters. So keep that in mind when you decide what you're pulling on, which is why me, I'm trying to diversify right now. Make sure I have enough and make sure I still have a good core team and focusing on a banner that has one primary pool is probably not the best idea uh, for me at least. And as you see it's abstract captain, all of the default characters in the game have been abstract and like you got the abstract gill, which I pulled, you can pull those in most of the banners. So eventually, you know, he's going to be in the pool and he'll be obtainable multiple times. Whereas some of these limited banners such as uh, 2P and a2 you may not see them again so keep all that in mind when you choose whether or not you're going to pull on this banner now you know most people i think will hopefully probably ignore the banner if that's the best decision for you that leaves us with this event so like i said this is a different event there are a few stages we'll go to in a minute you defeat the boss there's only one wave it's a boss with some minions and you know, you defeat them to defeat the stage. Each stage has the same stamina requirement, but you get more tickets depending on the stage. And you also have a chance to get memoirs two, three and four star. And the four stars only drop on the last stage, I believe. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the rate seems to suck, which I mean, I, you can only expect so much because you do have to farm this event a lot. And if it was just dropping memoirs left and right, then I don't know if that really would have been great. But what you can get in here is the attack up um set bonus so that's that's what you can expect to have dropping and you're gonna see a lot of two and three stars to be honest i i'll just go ahead and tell you i ran 200 stamina and did not get a single four star memoir yet so what you have then is the summons and i'm not going to read too much on here let's just look at the weapon real quick you can get this uh blackbird blackbird great sword and then you can get this dark dagger and right now i kind of want both of them even though i will say you know if you work on lars's dark weapon it's a pretty good uh sword as well but I'm, i haven't worked on that one yet and for the purpose of the event i might try to go ahead and if i get this go ahead and upgrade it and you know this one has fatal crit hit which is crit hit damage up and vigor and this one has fleet foot and vigor good passes overall um in terms of the Weapon skills on the great sword has a 20% chance to inflict stun for one turn. Not amazing, but but pretty good overall. Nothing extra on the other attack. So I mean, the weapon overall is is just it's it's a good wind weapon, but it's not like some overpowered thing. This three star weapon on the other hand, which of course you can get up to four star by evolving it, will grant critical rate to uh, all allies and this does it on both moves it's not a ton of crit rate but it's a decent chunk 10 percent and eight percent so that's a lot of time for you know maintaining crit rate you got cooldown of 16 seconds on both moves and so i think the way it's going to work though it should stack and what's going to happen is you're probably going to do one of them and then do the other one and so you'll get probably like eight seconds of like 18 percent 
increase in crit rate. Of course, that's when you max out these skills. But overall, I mean, decent little chunk of crit rate, and you get the Vigor and Fatal. So, not a bad dagger at all, and it is a fire-based weapon, which, I mean, personally, I could use some fire, so I'm definitely down for that. And in here, we get do get some bonuses on the tickets. If you do start collecting the weapons, you put those into your party for the event, and you will get some extra tickets. You also get extra tickets from... Um, the banner if you're pulling him so griff will also get a 50% attack bonus but you know I'm not pulling for him so I'm not really worried about that and out of all the missions you can earn up to 1500 gems and that's by upgrading the weapon that you can get in the banner not in the banner in the in the gotcha pool as well as you know just doing the missions over and over so you know pretty easy to get those 1500 gems and you also get some from the gacha. I don't know if that's counted in the 1500, but you can get some from the gacha as well. So this just talks about the summons again, and that is about it. So that covers the notices. Um, sorry, I probably didn't try to narrow, knock it down in time-wise next time. But let's go ahead and look at the event real quick. And I'll show you what I did so far. So if we go to quest, subquest, and it is variation T, senior officer. And you have five quests on here that you have to get through. And of course, you want to farm the highest one that you can. For me, that's quest five. Then you can do this quest EX one time only. And when you do it that one time only, you'll get like 100 tickets, 100 gems, and you'll get three of these four-star memoirs. I don't know if they're the same stats for everyone. I'm, I highly doubt it. But, you know, that that's what you're going to get. So... Like I said, I want that uh, blade because I would like to put my 2P back in here with the fire blade and that would be uh, pretty sweet. I could uh, use, no, I think I would want 2P in here and then I can't know if I would use Fio or I think A2 would still be okay. A2, you know, without having the, the limit break is just, is, it's holding me back a little bit power wise, but she is still really good. And of course I got my Kia here with um, just a little, you know, upgraded blade on her sword. And so, you know, I don't have the best power to beat this yet. I'm probably have to do some tweaking. I could just, what did I just do? Oh, I switched screens. Okay. I could just give it a run and see what happens. I highly doubt I can beat it. But just to give you an idea, I got 81k force here. Let's just see what happens real quick. And I'll see, maybe I'll get lucky and clear it. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you the strategy, especially if you're uh, having trouble completing these levels. It is only one wave. And what you need to understand is that the two ads on the side of the boss are healing the boss. So you actually need to focus the two ads first and then focus the boss. Because the boss doesn't actually do as much damage. But, but she will get healed by these ads. So here we go. We're going to focus the ads. See how this goes. You know, definitely not an optimized team. I have not focused too much on my fire team. So I, I wouldn't actually be surprised if one of my other teams would do better. But we'll give it a shot here. Let's see how fast we die. You could also try doing some manual as well. But I'm just going to give it a go auto. We're going to just do this one time through and, and see what happens. Alright, so we are focusing this dude. And we're not doing a whole lot of damage. To be honest let's see what happens once all right we're gonna get our crit rate up all right we're doing some damage now we're gonna get our specials in here oh we're gonna get blasted by the boss all right so a2 of course not gonna last too long which i kind of expect she is just not that survivable she doesn't have the survivability at level 70 she just doesn't and she also is lacking that crit rate as well all right uh, so let's see the first one might go down here. I don't I definitely don't think I'll be able to do this. Nope. Here we go We're gonna die Just leaves Fio. All right, definitely can't do this yet. I want to do I'm gonna work on the gotcha and see what I can pull get those weapons and Then we'll go I will go from there So this will probably be a couple days before I can beat this I just need to do some optimizations and stuff and I think we'll be good to go 
so that gives you an idea like you know and, and this is the same boss as the other stages so same deal focus those ads first because they're going to heal the boss the boss doesn't do quite as much damage as the ads so take them out first and you'll be good and then you want to find which stage you can auto and go with that and get these tickets so on quest 5 you get a little like 20 something tickets per run so i spent 200 stamina just to get a little quick test run here and show you guys what i got 200 stamina on quest 5 and i ended up at 760 tickets that might sound like a lot but let's see what happens let me go ahead and explain how this works real quick if it's not locked up there we go as you can see here we have different levels on this gotcha and at the bottom you have a level up button you can hit the level up button after you collect the main rewards out of here but you have an option to stay on and collect more of the rewards which i think i'm going to try to do because i don't think you can backtrack so if you hit the info and you can see the rates for each of these different levels so at level one you're going to get you know your first sword and first two daggers then at level two you get three more daggers and one more sword some emeralds then at level three is where you can go ahead and get one of your advanced handbooks best part of this event in my opinion getting these handbooks to be able to uh, limit break the character without needing their exact copies so you know we got one more great sword here then we're gonna move up to level four we're getting you know another great sword then we're gonna get two more handbooks the next one we're gonna get two more handbooks and the great sword again then we're going to pick up our last five handbooks on level six and then you got some emeralds here and you know got a whole wide variety of different materials and things like that we got some stamina recovery through here we got some explorer tickets i'm gonna try to collect as much as i can then on the final level you have basically just emerald and you know some materials and stuff and this i believe once you you know if you wipe all this stuff out you can then just keep rerunning this last um, this last level. There'll be that button will actually light up and say like refill, and it'll also go back to zero out of one, zero out of three, etc. So, you know, I don't really quite know what the strategy is going to be here. Let's go ahead and start using our tickets and see how the rates are. So, we're going to summon 100 at a time and see what we get. I know it's gonna flash back kind of quick. All right, so we got some gems, some gold, We're getting quite a few bit of gold, and it's just it's not much to be honest with you, not much at all. So it's kind of a waste. I got the gem. I'm in the gemstone, and what I see, I didn't see much else there. Let's see. So I got two of the gems, and then let's look up in here. Got two of the gems. I got one of the emeralds. Uh, I got the large enhancement, extra large weapon enhancement. I got some medium meat, character enhancement, weapon enhancement. I got two of the gems. I already got the medium stamina recovery. I didn't get any of the smalls yet. So then we got some of the gold. This is not much gold at all, guys. So I mean, then, then again, I mean, it, it's it's not bad, but it's just not a huge amount. All right. Let's keep rolling. See if we can get that sword. Well, all three swords from this level is my main prerogative. I did get the explorer ticket. Got some more companion food. I'm seeing a lot of the gold, which is just seems to be using up space. Go ahead and summon again. I didn't see any of the weapons. Okay, there we go. We got our wind sword from this level. Got some more gems. We can only get 50 gems from this level. I think, oh, I saw another one. So it might be, if I miss one, that might be it. Let's see. Let's see where we stand now. Okay, so we got our explorer ticket. We got our wind weapon. We got, I think that on the front said four out of the gems. We still got quite a bit here. We haven't gotten. I want those two dark daggers for sure we're getting the, the enhancement materials I got like I said four of the gems we're done with the medium stamina and the Explorer ticket let's go ahead and pull some more all 
All right, can we get that three-star weapon? Oh, we got another emerald. I'm not seeing the weapon. All right, go ahead and do another hundred. So you can see here, it's gonna take quite a bit. Now, like I said, I spent 200 stamina. So we're actually gonna look at the stamina payback here from this round of tickets. I got small stamina there. I know I didn't get the weapon, so let's just go ahead and roll again. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me those two weapons. In theory, I wonder if it, once you buy things out, if it increases the rates of everything or if it just increases the rates of the ones that are always obtainable. That's a good question. And still didn't get one of the three star weapons. But like I said, guys, I only spent 200 stamina to get those 700 some odd tickets. So, I mean, you will have to spend some stamina on this event, but as you, I just got some more st small stamina. All right, let's use the rest of them. That's, oh no, I did get one of the three star weapons. Okay, that's good. Let's see if I can get the other one in these last 60. Either way, I'm gonna farm the event some more. Okay, that's it. So we're still missing one of these weapons. Missing 10 gems. Let's see what we got. So we got out the large fish, large meat hunk. Why we only get one of those, I don't know. I mean, you need so many of them. We got one of the dark daggers. Is it automatically adjusting the rates of everything else? How does it work? I really should have paid attention. All right, so we got the medium stamina and we got seven small stamina. So that's 70 right there. And the medium for me right now is 65. So 70 and 65 is 135 stamina. I spent 200. So I'm only at a deficit of like 70 stamina so far. Of course, to get all these things, you're probably going to end up, you know, in more of a deficit, but at least you are getting some of it back. All right. So there you have it. It kind of gives you an idea. I ran 700 tickets and not that far. But what I can do now is I can add in my great sword and my dark dagger um, in you know some fashion to my team, and I can therefore farm more from the event. Now I think it's only going to give me like one or two more tickets each per for the you know per round. But as I as you collect those weapons, you add them into your team, and you're going to increase your ticket rate. So keep that in mind as well. So there you go. I spent all my tickets. That's how this works. Once you are ready, you got to be careful here. It, once you hit this main prize, I believe this button will light up and then you can move on to the next level. And you'll start pulling on there and you cannot go back to this level at all. So if you leave anything that you really wanted, so let's say you really wanted to get all of the, I mean, it's probably a bad example, but all of the small stamina, but you got the last weapon on the next roll, but you still were missing three of the small stamina. Well, it would let you press that button and there's no way for you to get those three star small stamina anymore or let's say this 10 gems so you have to figure out is that important to you do you want that do you want to keep pulling on it it's completely up to you if you are early in your account you also have to keep in mind you might want to get these uh enhancement materials so you know i know on my free to play account right now get having those weapon enhancement materials is you know kind of valuable for me and I would I would like to get as many of those as I can from this event too. So you know what? Make the decision that's best for you. Let me know down in the comments what you are gonna do, how you're gonna approach the event, or if you know something that I'm missing. But for for now, you know, I'm excited for another event. You know, having all these events back to back is a bit overwhelming, but you know what? I'm still grateful for everything they're doing in the game. I love this game. I'm enjoying my time, and so gonna keep on grinding. And I will catch you guys in the next video.